Okay, uh, today I would like to share with you a quick case of a very, very common condition with a few key features on a peripheral blood smear that you will recognize very frequently when you look at blood counts and blood count results on your ward rounds. So the case is that of a 22-year-old female medical student who complains of tiredness, headaches and irritability and apart from that, the only other history is menorrhagia, so increase in menstruation for about one year. On examination, her vitals were normal, but she's got pale mucosae and palms, and otherwise there were no abnormalities noted. Things become more interesting when you look at her full blood count, where we can first see the white cell count, that is normal, so there's no problem there. The red blood cell count, 3.1, that is lower than the normal reference range. So that, this one is clearly decreased. The hemoglobin of 7.5 is much lower than the normal. And she also has a low mean cell volume. Now, you may remember from one of the other videos that the mean cell volume refers to the mean volume of the individual red cells. And it gives one an indication of the general change in size from the normal. So normally it would be between 80 and 100 and in this case it is clearly low. Right, so the next one is the MCH or the mean cellular hemoglobin. So this tells us how much hemoglobin there is within the average red blood cell and this is 28 which is once again decreased. Platelet count 356, that seems to be perfectly fine. So this one is normal. So if you put all this together, we can say that we're dealing with a, uh, an anemia, the hemoglobin that is low. So we have an anemia. And we can further describe this anemia by saying uh, if we have a low MCV anemia, then you will remember that we, we talk about a microcytic microcytic anemia and if the MCH is low that would be called a hypochromic hypochromic now not surprisingly um, when we looked at the result on the peripheral blood smear this is exactly what was also reported by the pathologist they said that the patient had hypochromic which literally means low in color, so low color. Remember that the hemoglobin gives the red blood cell its red color. Microcytic, so small cells, hypochromic microcytic red blood cells, and anisocytosis, a term once again that we discussed in the video uh, that gave an overview of the MCV. Now, what does this actually refer to apart from the inferences that we made from the blood count uh, results. Well, at the top here, we see the actual peripheral blood smear of this patient. And what you can see is firstly that the red blood cells generally are small. How do I know that? Well, the way that we said that we measure red blood cell size is to use the size of a Lymphos a small lymphocyte nucleus as a reference. So we take this distance here and we compare that with the size of the red blood cell. Maybe I should make that a little bit darker just to make it clearer. So if we compare these two distances, you can see that the diameter of the red blood cell is smaller than the diameter of the nucleus, note the nucleus of the small lymphocyte. I just put in a normal one here at the bottom, so this is actually normal, where you can see that the red blood cells, the diameter here, is very similar to the diameter of the lymphocyte nucleus. So this would be the normal. So the first thing here is the cells are smaller in volume than one would expect. That is the microcytic component. The second thing is they, are, they have a decrease in their color. So they are hypochromic, low in color. How do we know that? Well, we look at this pale area in the middle. Once again, this is abnormally large. Usually the pale area should be much smaller. You can see 
um, here that the pale area is usually about one third of the diameter of the red blood cell or less. Now in this case you can see this is almost two thirds if we look at these cells. So there's a large pale area which just like that indicates to us that the patient has hypochromia. And this usually is a quite a classical picture. Hypochromic microcytic anemia. This combination um, would be iron deficiency in the majority of patients. There are a few other conditions that can give this. But by and large, if you see this, you have to test for iron um, as a first step. Now, what other term did we see here? We saw they said anisocytosis. That simply means and it means not, iso means the same, and cytos re re refers to the cell. So not the same cell, literally it means it refers to the cells are not of the same size. And if we go back to our smear here, you can see the cell sizes are different. There are bigger ones, smaller ones. There's a whole range of different sizes in terms of the cells, and that is called anisocytosis. Now sometimes you can see something else and it's called pencil cells. It's not seen in this particular smear, but it's possible that, that you can find a cell. Let me just draw, try to draw a little one here that is elongated in shape like this. It's actually very common and it's called a pencil cell, pencil, uh, because it is, it looks like a pencil a little bit. And this cell is often uh, seen in patients with iron deficiency anemia. So further tests were done on this patient and she was found to have iron deficiency anemia or in short we can say IDA, iron deficiency anemia and she was successfully treated with a diet rich in iron and oral iron supplements.